ないこの俺が人間なんだよ All right. So in this one, I told you guys if you don't、uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. I told you guys to、uh, tweet me your hottest takes. I didn't post this anywhere else. I just want to put this on Twitter for those who follow me on Twitter. And I got some interesting things. This is from a couple of days ago, two days ago、uh, at this point, where the leader update did not happen yet. So I don't think it would change much for hottest takes. I mean. Maybe if someone so, called Cell bad and now he's an A tier unit, so he has a lot more、uh, potential and a lot more growth、uh, to be liked, maybe that'll change it. But like anything else, I, I don't think would change. So I just want to go through your guys' hot takes.、Uh, I, I'm just curious because I want to debate them, right? So Zenkai Meadow is more free to play slash low spender friendly. Was. What do you mean? Was. Okay. You get a good guaranteed unit percent KCC and you're not relying on RNG. Oh, is he talking about like. Um. I don't know, like Purple Super Saiyan for Goku? Like, because he was. You're guaranteed to get them, blah, blah, blah. And nowadays it's like they're mediocre? I mean, it was not really free to play friendly because you had a Zenkai unit. Let's say. Let's say your optimal team.、Uh, let's say Super Saiyan 4 Goku Zenkai dropped and. So、we were saying four Vegeta, and you're a GT main, and then you had Maju Banner,、uh, Super Saiyan Three Kid GT Goku Banner, the, both those Zenkai's. That's 14k CC guaranteed, and then after that you have to summon for an All Star Banner, like, and you had Gogeta Four as the anniversary unit, and let's say they all dropped within like two months span. That's around like 80 to like 100k CC to like make your team like good stars and all that. If you're forced to Zenkai, right? I mean, I. I look at Zenkai is now, with it being, you know, maybe some units depending on their age will be good. Like, GT Vegeta isn't even bad, really.、Uh, he has become a support unit from his Zenkai, but he's not bad. Like, Zamasu, he's a very good Zenkai.、Um, Janemba, I don't think is great, but his base kit was already ass. I feel like they're finding their niche with it, with Vegeta, because Janemba being ass, then Vegeta actually being decent with what he wants to do in support. and... Basically, be blue 21 for GT.、Uh, he at least finds a spot of value. Janemba, you don't really have value spot given, I mean, you could argue he's okay. It's just that he's not overvalued or、uh, more valuable than other units, right? I, I like how it is now with Zenkai's being free compared to 7k CC. Sure, you're guaranteed a good unit at that point, but it's like, if you want to get the. Good unit nowadays, at least with this new,、uh, you know, update of the featured units being, you know, higher percentage of damage and、uh, defense, you're gonna wanna pull for a new thing, anyways. Like, there's no reason to not wanna pull for the new unit, right? Like, you have an incentive with Zenkai's not being better than new units. That's why I like more about it. Which, maybe people don't wanna summon for new units, but it's a gotcha game. You're gonna summon for new units. Android 18 is not Z plus tier. I, <sighs> I wish that were, uh, Seen as a joke by everyone, but I know、uh, a lot of people actually think、uh, she is C plus tier.、Uh, sorry, Piggy.、Uh, I know she's not, but a lot of people think she is. I... Woo! People, man. Here's a few. Future Gohan greater than Revival and FSK. I, I have said this personally. Yes, Mr. Puddle、uh, drowns in Puddle. RIP Gohan. He doesn't actually fucking drown the Puddle. It's just a joke because I don't like the character.、Uh, is worse or better greater than. Uh, Revival and FSK. I, I think that because FSK is more reliant on support than anything, and Revival is、uh, becoming a liability with some units like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, who kind of, you know, is on a better team now because the leader update,、uh, Cell, Grade 8 Vegeta, these other units that actually nullify and not really fully nullify, but fuck over Revival to such a big extent、uh, is important. Namek Goku is in a top 10 unit.、Uh, I agree. For 99% of the game,、uh, some people can make him look like a number three, number one unit in the game. I'm sure of it, but、uh, Namek Goku players mostly just aren't that great nowadays.、Uh, they don't play him correctly. They play him like he's some Jesus unit that like, you have to win with, like only trying to backflow in blue card. Like, play him as a normal unit, and then you'll use him a lot better. And this is coming from me who sucks ass with them. I just know. If you play him like a normal character, it's 10 times harder for someone to predict when you have a blue card 
if they can't predict you, they can't counter you out, right? Super Saiyan Gogeta is, isn't Z tier. Uh, no, I think he is. Uh, I don't think it's debate. I think Super Saiyan Gogeta is the best unit in the game. Uh, I Legitimately, like that's not a troll. I think that's flat out it. So if he's saying Revival is worse than Puddle Gohan, and he's saying Gogeta isn't Z, I'm curious what his Z tier is. I assume like Super Saiyan 3 Goku? Because it's not Revival and FSK because Puddle's above. So I'm, conf I I'm, I'm curious what this guy's Z tier would be. If Namekoku's not up there, then it's Super Saiyan 3, maybe Cell, maybe Evolution Blue. It's interesting. Interesting to have a top three for a lot of people uh, that isn't Revival or FSK. Like, it, it genuinely is. Uh, and then, both LF Frieza is the most underrated units in the game. LF Zenkai Frieza and Full Power Frieza definitely are slept on. Uh, I wouldn't say the most underrated units in the entire game. If I were to, like... After using a lot of fucking units, right? I re revisit a lot of units. I use a lot of units. Um, I would say most underrated unit in general, even before this update, would have been... Hmm. Corrupted Zamasu? I know people respect him a lot, but I feel like he doesn't get enough of it. Uh, I think Corrupted Mirror Zamasu is most underrated unit. Now, I do think LF Zenkai Frieza is great, but... uh. He is subject to just one team. At least Corrupted Zamasu is on two teams, three teams, really, if you want to force God Key. But, you know, uh, Strike Future and Regen, Strike Regen, are very good teams. They're very prominent in the meta and both top five teams in the game. LF Zenkai Frieza, uh, before this, when this tweet came out, uh, wasn't on any team besides Frieza Horse because Eloise dead in the water, powerful opponent. It's kind of iffy because, you know, not many people can run that. Uh, nowadays... Two days later, uh, Frieza, yes, is going to have a lot more value, but even now, you're not seeing him that often, right? And then, uh, Full Power Frieza, I don't have him. You know, I've said this a million times. I don't have him. If I did have him, I'd probably agree, but I don't have him, so I can't give you a uh, distinguished opinion on that. But I do think uh, he's not used as often as maybe he could be used on certain teams, but maybe that's just because he has stars. Like, he hasn't returned, right? Uh, LF Full Power Freeze is better than Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, and it's not even close. Yeah, that's... that's easy. Um, Gogeta? Has it fallen off? He's definitely just aged a little bit. I mean, he is almost a year old. You know, uh, he came around Christmas time with, uh, the December banner, so... He hasn't aged terribly, but he's definitely aged. I think Broly's aged a lot more than him, though, so that's okay. Eloi is underrated. Uh, still needs buffs, though. Give me that green revival angel Frieza. Underrated? I think Eloi is... I don't know what he's basing this off. Eloi is underrated in the fact that people don't think it is usable. Um, I agree with that. Eloi, to me, is Vegeta Clan. Uh, it's a little bit better damaging-wise than Vegeta Clan, but... Uh, it has a little bit more tank in the Vegeta Clan, and it has a little bit more damage, but it's still top-heavy, right? You don't have a good endurance unit. You don't have a revival unit. You don't have anything that gives you sustainability besides your Zenkai Frieza being able to eat hits. But, like, your blue cooler is going to get three-shot by any type neutral unit. Your uh, full-power Frieza, unless you have him, like, six, seven, eight, nine stars, he's not going to live that long, right? He's not defense type. He's just full-power Frieza. Like, you have usability, but I don't think it's the worst team in the game if that's kind of the bait gogeta is better than super saiyan blue evolution vegeta no, no, no. <gasps> evolution blue vegeta is like a top three unit in the game individually uh even a skilled gogeta blue player is i assume he's talking about gogeta blue because they're both yellow god key right um even a skilled gogeta blue player with like that knows how to master that green card no evolution blue can literally just Turn the tides in 90% of matchups by hitting you. And hitting isn't that fucking difficult. Like, if he just starts going, he starts a combo, and he's in a 1v3, he's, like, a clutch. Like, he can clutch it out if you're good enough. Like, that's that's it. Gogeta Blue really can't do that type of situation. It's just not plausible for him. Zenkai Khalifla needs a plat equip that's almost similar to Super Saiyan for Gogeta's that gives her damage inflicted, strike, and blast damage in the first slot, double defenses in the second slot, and permanent level 1 card draw speed inflicting with fighting a Saiyan in the third. Who the fuck cares about Khalifla? Um, Zenkai Khalifla is just a budget Super Saiyan 3 purple Goku. I mean, 
that's fine. You don't need to have every Zenkai be as good as this Zenkai that it's up against. Some have to be bad. She has to be bad. And I'm glad the Zenkai that people probably don't respect the much, uh, you know, Khalif, a lot of people don't like her a lot. No, I personally don't. Isn't the greatest thing in the game, so. Uh, she doesn't need a plat. She has a plat, I think, right? That UI plat is for USS. She's on USS. She has a plat, right? So, she has something. Um, I don't think she needs anything else. If anything, her Zenkai kit should just should have been better. Like, that's it. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is worse than Super 17. Nah, 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 nah. The thing is, um... Super 17 is a defensive playstyle. Uh, Super 17 isn't going to do damage. Gogeta 4, once he comes in, like, at 0 count into the match, or 180 count into a match, he's at his peak damage. Like, every single maneuver of him entering is his peak damage. Now, obviously, when you uh, pop a revive, it can get higher with that new equipment. But, uh, regardless of that, every single come in, he is at peak and he will always do his best damage, and I mean, his green cards crack, blue card into a blue card, if you land your first blue card, goes neutral four times, Super 17 can't compare, he is in no way, shape, or form even close to uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, like, oh shit, where'd we go? Oh man, oh man, let's go back, um, I don't know how that happened, uh, he can no way compare to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta though, where's my tweet, where's my tweet, where's my tweet, where's my tweet, hello? I can't find my tweet. Oh, we're down bat. Hold on. God damn it. How'd that happen? I'm actually confused. There it is. Okay, let's go back down. Um, where is it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, right here. Androids was overrated and to an extent... Wait, did I scroll through tweets? Oh, I just... Okay, I don't know. It, it like, put them back a little bit. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it literally unorganized my tweets. Whatever. Androids was overrated and to an extent still is. We barely get buffs and we're kind of in a stalemate. We have been amazing since Super 17. Uh, I don't think anyone thinks Androids is good. I don't. I think they're okay. I don't think they're unrunnable, but I think they're okay. Cell being Z tier. You know, it's hard to... I want, I want to say something, but I don't know if it's true. It's hard to debate that because... I think there is a situation where he is, right? I think there's a lot of situations where he can look Z tier. Even having him at seven stars, I feel like there's a lot of spots where I think he kind of is Z tier. Then there's also some spots I think he's like mid S, right? Like high S maybe, but he's a very perplexing unit. I, I can agree that he can look Z tier, but consistently Z tier is a hard placement, like thinking about it and using him for a while now. Z tier is a hard placement to keep him at. I think high S, like number two, number three, and S plus tier is a more sizable thing to call him. Because while he is like goaded, uh, he's inconsistent is what I'll say. Ape Vegeta is meant for Saiyans. Anyways, uh, I, <laughs> no, he's not. No, no, he's not. Strike Future and GT greater than God Key. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's an easy take, yeah. Red Omega is one of the better units in the game and easily on S tier. Mm, yeah, yeah, Red Omega's up there. And Super Saiyan Gogeta kind of overrated, even though I'm happy that's the case. Overrated? I don't understand the overrated. People always say that. Uh, Gogeta's overrated, and I don't... A neutral unit four times that picks his neutrality... Cancels all buffs on green, has blast armor on strikes, green and ult. I don't understand the overrated discussion of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's always at peak. He will, his ultimate will always do more damage than like a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Like always. Like, it's not even a joke. Because you get to pick it. Um, uh, Goku, it's dependent on the enemy swapping. Gogeta is just whenever the fuck I want to. Yeah, I don't understand the overrated discussion. Oh, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku needs a Zenkai more than Blue Vegeta. Uh, no. No. Super Saiyan 4 Goku's bad. Fuck! <laughs> I keep- I think my side of my thumb keeps clicking it. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is bad. I love Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but... Uh, to say he needs a Zenkai... Um... More? Uh... Nah. Nah. It, it, that's just not true. Uh, no. 
Vegeta definitely needs it more, uh, team-wise and uh, unit-wise as well. Okay, let's stop putting the fucking phone down. Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is S tier, in my opinion. Oh, Purple VB! I was so confused who he was talking about. Um, uh, nah, nah. Unless you're rating this guy at like 21 stars? No, because <laughs> he wants to defend while he wants to do damage. I appreciate the honking of your horn, sir. It is illegal, but do you? Um, he wants to defend while doing damage for one card, but then if you miss that one card, you're losing out on 70% to your blast damage. On top of, he wants to be uh, doing a green card to get card draw speed, but when he does that, he doesn't combo into it. He, he's literally just stupid. Like, he's just built stupid. His stats aren't even that great. Like, if they were to fix him, sure, but uh, Purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegito is, uh, he, he ain't it. He, he ain't it. I think he honestly is the worst aging third anniversary unit. Like, Red Kefla is definitely there, but, like, I, I think he's actually worst aging. Evolution Blue Vegeta is greater than Zenkai FSK. Um, individually, yes. Team-wise... I could see a debate. Uh, I wouldn't say yes or no. No, we weren't even over that. Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is top three. Uh, wait, what? Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is top three. Movie Frieza greater than any non-LF. Any non-LF non-Zenkai. DBS Frieza? Is better than... Any non-LF non-Zenkai. Nah. God Topo exists. Um, Super Saiyan 3 GT Kagoku exists. It's a lot of non-LF Zenkais, um, non-Zenkais, uh, that are, yeah, yeah, there's a lot that are better than him. Nah, I don't think so. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta maxed out greater than LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku maxed out. Yes, yes, yes. What did this guy say? Well, I find it hard to agree that ridiculously OP anti revivalist is super valuable. The only issue is his main team's fusion GT aren't that relevant. He's, firstly, GT is like a top seven team in the game. Um, that's not a joke. It's literally, like, number seven to me. And Saiyans is his main team. He buffs Saiyans at six stars, so... Okay. Bergamo is underrated. Y <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. You're right. Red Pie can only be better than Pro VV after the tier bonus. I haven't tried PyCon yet. I'm sure people have done a million videos on PyCon by the time this video goes up. But, uh, I could see that debate. Because PyCon will be able to be on every team. Uh, I mean, Godkey needs another Blast Red unit. You run PyCon or Bergamo, a defense blaster, or just a blasting in general. Like, that's going to be a real thing that actually works out, right? So I could see it. Um, Pearl VB will not be Coral. PyCon actually can be Core, which is hilarious. And Z tier bonus is a lot, right? 8 Vegeta is Z tier. While I do suck off 8 Vegeta uh, 20 times a day, you know, uh, up and down, up and down. Nah, he's not Z tier. Um, maybe if we're comparing LBR, and that's even stretching it then. Uh, normal Vegeta, they're going to run into a PvP. He ain't Z tier. He can look mildly high S tier, not even S plus tier, but he... Him and Corrupted Zamasu need stars to look goaded, and you don't have the stars. Nobody does. Uh, at least 9% of the player base, player base doesn't have the stars to make him look like he is goaded. Legend's bad? Uh, no, you're factually incorrect. Uh, but that's okay. Trunks. Hate the character. Alright. LF Senkai Gavajita is very good. Huh? Who? <laughs> we don't have an LF Senkai God Vegeta? We have God Vegeta Zenkai. But okay. Uh, Android 18 is C tier. She one comboed my purple unit. <laughs> okay. Legends is bad. Again. Uh, factually incorrect, but that's okay. Purple Hit is good, he just has no teams. He's Glass, uh, to compare him to, like, a more recent unit... Let's compare him to, like, the new Rosé, um, who has teams, right? He's kind of like that, but I think Purple Hit's actually worse. I think he's okay, I don't think he's actually better than some free-to-play options, though. I think he's okay, though. LF Triple Gohans are balanced, it's others who are not as good as him. It's not Gohan's fault, other oh, unit's fault. LF Triple Gohans are balanced. It's the others who are not as good as him. No, that's wrong. 
because there's units that are as good as uh, better than the triple gohan team and they're not like up to snuff because they're teams right evolution blue vegeta is a perfect example he is as good he's better than every single gohan but his teams hold him back nowadays maybe not but before this update his teams held him back right like i don't think that's accurate at all um legends was the best mobile gacha game up until second anniversary i love dokkan but legends had their amazing pvp and a meta was extra versatile there weren't many unrunnable teams back then shame that it's stinky hot ass now okay that took a fucking turn and he also has the red coin from dokkan as his profile picture so i wonder what he plays right now um Legends is probably in the best spot it has ever been since, like, first anniversary. Like, legitimately, giving us an update that lets you do anything of your disposal with any unit in the game, that's a W. Uh, all the quality of life stuff, maybe Legends Pass, you know, Legends Pass, LOL, it's a joke, ha ha ha, I, I, you know, I get it. People like to hate on shit that, you know, is annoying and tedious and bad, but ignore the Legends Pass, which isn't even a big thing, like... You don't even notice it exists unless you're looking for the problem. But, like, why are you going to look for a problem anyways? Uh, Legends is in a perfect spot. Like, especially pre-a celebration. A lot of games will know how to fuck it up pre-celebration. Like, I've seen other gotcha games that are shut down now. I can't. Tell. Shut down now! And they fuck up their pre-celebration and their anniversary, their big celebration that's upcoming gets fucked over and everyone's bitching complaining about that one problem. Legends just had a big update and no one's complaining? Maybe the equipment stuff? But like, you have to accept it as a company that they are. They're gonna make things to where, hey, I want you to spend money so I can make my money. That's what equipment's gonna be. It's gonna be meant for whales. That's just how it's been since its release. They fucking sell slot removers on the weekend like that inception of uh rerolling equipment was meant for money like it is basically summoning when you're rerolling equipment because they have the fucking same rates as summons half the time for a lot of good equipment right uh legends is in the best spot it's been since first anniversary though i don't know what you're playing but uh th this game is good lol because that's what people are saying right ls receiver goku is a good unit Again, he's okay. He's not your core yellow, but he is an okay option. I don't think he's as bad as people say he is. You know, people like to meme him a lot, which is fine. But uh, I feel like it also devalues the unit uh, from perspective of people that actually don't even run him. And people just say he's bad, lol. He's bad, lol. But yet, it's just because people just meme him a lot, right? Regen is worse than hybrids. I'd rather fight a decent... Wait, I'd rather fight a team with decent damage. A revival unit and endurance unit that a team that can easily land 3RR. Hmm. I'm confused on that a little bit. Three gen is worse than a hybrid. I'd rather fight a team with decent damage, a revival, and an endurance unit than a team that can easily land three R. But Regen counters out hybrids. Regen counters out both meta teams. Like Regen does more. Like you have Crotus Monster doing more Saiyans. You have Cell doing more Saiyans and hybrids. Um you can run 8 Vegeta now on regen and he does more to Saiyans. Like, you have regen that counters out hybrids. DKP, goodbye future Gohan. Um, revival Cell, not Revival Cell, Jesus. Uh, LF Cell, goodbye um, Revival Gohan. And then Kid Buu, like, goodbye hy hybrids FSK. Um, I don't know how regen is worse than hybrids. Yeah, I, I don't see it um maybe hybrids is easy if that's the case hybrids is just an easier team to use over regen because you don't have all that uh leisure of just you know okay i revived now ha 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 like you can't rush me or you know whatever but that's countered out by cell like regen is countering out hybrids even though regen's probably harder to use when you're good with regen you will not struggle against hybrids at all like that's just simple uh, okay, screenshots, amazing, good job. Uh, make pe more people forfeit, love it. Strike variants of Saiyans with Gogeta, Angel, and Ape is better than movies. Gogeta, Angel, and Ape on Strike Saiyans. I have never run into this team. Uh, I've run into Strike Saiyans, and I thought they were mediocre. Uh, I don't 
think Strike Saiyans is great. I think it's usable, but I wouldn't say it's better than movies. Movies is like at least top five. Strike Saiyans, no way, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with plot equip is overrated and he can easily get clapped like before. Uh, no. Uh, you will never one combo Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, even with the rush uh, on first combo because that 80% cut. On top of, he, again, can pick neutrality, and when you can pick neutrality and always at your peak damage, you are thriving. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku has a very similar spot where he can pick neutrality, and that's great, but he's not always at his peak ultimate damage. Gogeta, anytime you do anything, you will be at your peak ultimate damage. That's the big difference. Gogeta is not overrated. He is respected. Like, he should be number one in the game. This is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He should be there. I think he is there. Uh, I don't think he's overrated at all. LSL MVP 17 overrated as hell. Cell, maybe a little bit. Uh, 17, I've never seen a single soul talk about MVP 17 in my life. Uh, I, I think he's good. I don't think anyone overrates him. I think people overrate Android 18 and disregard 17, if anything. People who complain about Legends the most don't even play the game. I mean, you can have your opinion about a game without playing it. Like, I watch a lot of Dokkan content. I don't play Dokkan. I have Dokkan, but I don't play Dokkan, right? I just have it. I watch a lot of Dokkan content, and I can kind of judge, you know, the direction and my opinion and my take on it and have a good backing. You don't have to play a game to uh, complain about it, but it is more justified if you play the game and you actually know, like, intricate details but nah uh you can complain about a game you have your opinion about a game without playing it like memeing a game sure that's a different thing but like actually having like a, a take on it you don't have to play a game to have a take on your game uh just watch it a lot right people watch the game a lot and don't play it super saiyan blue evolution vegeta is way better than Gogeta blue and god it keeps dying close red Gogeta is ass and so is super saiyan blue goku if he doesn't get buffed by Valus. i agree with the first two well, Red Gogeta is not that ass. He's okay. Uh, but Blue Goku, no. He doesn't need Vados. Uh, people are saying that, and I don't know where that misconception comes from. Blue Goku? I assume he's talking about... Uh, Zenkai? If he's talking about Revival, I agree. But Blue Goku? Okay, Zenkai Blue Goku is man. <laughs> nice. Uh, he doesn't need Vados. The Zenkai one, at least. He is perfectly fine one beat ring on his own, and he doesn't need Vados at all. Blue Goku is mid. He's not, he, he's not mid at all. This was such a terrible change. I prefer the CC way more. How is USTR a terrible change, huh? How is USTR a terrible change? I'm confused. I... Yeah, I don't get that. i rather get this. Maybe... I think this is better. Yeah, I don't know how USTR should be reverted like why it would be reverted no i cool you get a thousand cc why do i care about a thousand cc when i can zenkai 7 the top five unit in the game for free like i could zenkai 7 ls super Saiyan goku for free lf piccolo fsk uh all these non-lfs i can zenkai them for free why would that that's not worth it. that's to Zenkai 7, a top 5 unit in the game, and be able to run a top 5 unit in the game, is a lot more valuable than getting 1k CC every 2 weeks. Uh, no. No. Not, not at all, actually. This... that That's one of the worst takes I think I've seen. Uh, no. 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 Zenkai USTR is a very nice thing. Uh, for people that don't spend a lot, maybe just got lucky to get... Okay, I got my FSK 7 stars. You can just do that. You don't have to waste 7k CC... You just do a couple weeks of uh, USTR, then boom, you're set. Like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that. And then I thought I saw, yeah, some quote tweets here. Let's look at these real quick, then we'll wrap it up. I love Super Saiyan. Got Super Saiyan. Vegito is the easiest unit in Legends to use, making him the best unit to use for a majority of players. So Vegito Blue is the easiest unit in Legends to use. Um, I think Gogeta Blue is because. The uh, Null High Special Cover Change, you literally can just auto-click your cards and you're vibing. Because, again, Null High Special Cover Change, I don't think Vegeta Blue is that easy to use, actually. I think he's a little bit more intricate, uh, for sure. He allows you to, like, spam cards, but, like, Gogeta Blue, again, Null High Special Cover Change, that makes him, like, easiest, beyond belief. Uh, EX Jiren better than Goku in terms of kit, I agree with that. 
People who can't get at least top 10k shouldn't argue about how good a unit is. Uh, no. Uh, you can argue how good a unit is, it's just that your perspective of it is gonna be different than someone else's. I don't care if someone's battle rank fucking 30. Like, they can have their opinion on a unit. Uh, it doesn't invalidate their opinion. That, that That's actually kind of weird. <laughs> you don't have to be a certain rank to uh, argue a unit's rank. It's just your perspective is going to be different. That's all. FSK isn't as good as he looks. Individually, he can suffer. Yes. 18 is kind of trash now. Yeah. And Beerus is actually a viable uh, green unit. He's a very substitute option, but he can be run and be okay. Uh, I agree with that. And then, oh boy. Kid Boo is phenomenal, but overrated. Uh, overrated? I, I, I see that to an extent. I do think Kid Boo is a little bit overrated. Because, yes, everyone thinks, oh my god, he infinite vanishes. But he doesn't do, like, mine that being six stars. And that's going to be, like, your normal stars. Um, He doesn't do the craziest amounts of damage to where people gas him so much where he's, like, number 10 in the game. Like, I... I could see a discussion from being lower than that, but I do think he is a very, very fucking good unit. 8 Vegeta is overrated as fuck. Saiyans carry him. If you're running 8 Vegeta on Saiyans, that's probably why you see him as overrated. Um, he is not meant for Saiyans. Run him on Frieza Force. Then Evolution Blue is a top 3 unit. Um, Yeah, that I agree with. Well, top 5, I would say, just to be safe. But top 3 is uh, debatable for sure. Hmm, interesting takes. Uh, Less that I disagree with than i thought i would but i mean if you guys were here for it these are you guys takes let me know you guys think of these takes uh personally people saying some of these units that are bad um i don't understand but <laughs> that's just me uh again it is other people's opinions you don't have to you know justify your own opinion just if you have it have it keep it up uh don't fucking attack people for their opinions just accept it move on and that's how they work right let me know you guys think of your guys' hot takes, and I'll see you guys in the next one.